Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog of day. Today is Tuesday the 22nd and today was a lovely beautiful day today. Got this morning, um, fairly decent hour. Um, got the dogs out, got that all taken care of, all the fun that goes with it. Um, got in the hot tub, arms really sore from where I smashed that stupid tree trying to start the dog pressure washer. Um, yeah, I don't think anything's broke, it's just it's really freaking tender. Hurts to lift my arm above my head still. So taking shirts on and off suck, but overall, um, not the worst thing I've had. So got a couple things taken care of around here. Nothing real major. Um, just simple little stuff that has to be done. Uh, had a dog get dropped off this morning. Um, little Riley, she's, oh my gosh, she's so funny. So we had a good time with it, the whole thing there. Um, had another dog got dropped off and little Ozzy got dropped off for daycare only and super high energy. Oh my Lord, all the energy in the world. They were out there playing and stuff and that dog was wrestling with Bruce and fighting and having a good old time. So everything was going great there. Everything was good. Uh, decided I needed to head up to um, go make my escrow deposit and all that good fun stuff. In order to um, make that, I had to actually um, go by the bank and buy some temporary checks because we don't own a checkbook. So I think I might just actually order a checkbook and say, oh, that way we have it when we need it because I'm paying a buck a piece. You get three on a sheet, so you pay three bucks for three checks. But I think you can get a hundred checks for probably three bucks also. So might just do that but anyway it is what it is so got that done um, got some deposits made um, all that good fun stuff that happens from there um, headed up dropped off the check for the escrow uh, went perfectly smooth took all of two seconds I don't know why the hell I had to go do that I could just transfer the money in but my agent talked like I had to be there and talk to them like it was some kind of deal and it's like I'll meet you there and I'm like I'm just dropping a check off like she goes well it's one of the things I do as a buying agent I'm like I don't need you there trust me I'm a big boy it's, she goes, well, if he'll do it, I said, I don't, it's, it's fine. I'm going to walk in and hands me a check, which is all I did. I walked in and hands me a check. From there, we headed over to the house um, to basically get a um, broker price op opinion or some shit. I don't know how it's called a BPO or a BOP or something. I think it's BPO. Um, purchasing a, a opinion. I don't know what the hell it's talking about. Supposedly, it's worth more than a regular agent because they can tell you what the house is worth or whatnot. So who the hell knows she wanted to have that done so the, um, the lady showed up then she showed up my, my regular agent Betty showed up after that I was checking the house around I put the air filter in there overnight and um, the house smelled way better already so we gotta get rid of the furniture get rid of some of the rugs and stuff and whatnot and get that stuff out of there so we, once we get out of there um, we get the house listed and get it sold hopefully the lady was there doing the estimate was there forever like holy crap it took a long time and we were chatting fine that stuff's fine I mean it was no big deal super nice lady but we had a 315 appointment for the um, inspection on the new house we're trying to buy down back down here in Edgewater so I looked at them like I started turning lights on I'm like well, we gotta go like let's figure this out we gotta go and even like trying to take like measurements of the rooms and stuff and a lot of them like listen it's, it's is 11 foot or 11 foot six gonna make that big a difference in the purchase price of the house you have the square footage and whatever but went ahead and I'm like, hey, we gotta get out of here. Like, you, we, you guys gotta go now. Like, I'm gonna be late for this appointment and I'm not big on being late. So, ended up being five minutes late, which wasn't a big deal. The inspector was already there. Um, he was a little bit early. He was already up on the roof. Um, I was gonna climb up on the roof so I could look at some stuff with him and whatnot and put my arm up on the ladder and realized I didn't have any strength in my right arm and no ability to climb up and down the ladder. So I was like, I'll just stay down here and wait for you. So he did a um, really great job. The guy did an inspection, did a phenomenal job. Took videos, took pictures, all kinds of stuff, all the good fun things with it going through there everything was good there um was able to um go with him around the house and the outside we asked a lot of questions he answered a lot we discussed things about like even just simple things as mulch up against the you know the house and different things you should do and shouldn't do and really just very he was he had a teacher mentality in his mind he was willing to teach he was willing to answer my questions he didn't feel ass whipped at all and i told him early on like i can ask a lot of dumb questions and i can talk a lot and ignore ignore people and stuff and whatnot and he's like uh, it makes me feel better i talk to myself all the time it feels less crazy when there's somebody next to me so we had a great time uh, went to the house bug people came by also checked for wood boring you know insects and stuff termites and whatnot and they basically gave inspections super nice people it's a little small uh, family-run company and great great company they do really well with it from there um finished up with the house we were there a long time like a really really long time it was i don't know 315 we, or 320 when i got there um 315 is when the appointment actually started and it was God, i want to say like it was close to it was after six i think 6 30 when we left there finally so the roof is bad on the house uh, it's 15 years old which they didn't know beforehand never gave us an actual answer on it before we made the offer kind of thing they thought it was around 10 they thought it's 15 um the roof has to be replaced in order to take the uh, replace the roof we gotta take the solar off 
So I called the company who um, installed the solar and they want $11,200 just to remove the solar and put it back on, which is, oh my God, it's so insane. And plus the, um, we're guesstimating a $15,000 roof on a house this size and that's gonna suck. And I talked to my mortgage um, company, talked to Brian at Zy uh, Zymel at um, Streamline and yeah, I said, hey, you know, probably get to like a, a hold back, whatever. And he said their company does not do hold back. So in order to get the loan, unless the uh, appraiser says the roof has at least three years on it, um, we're screwed. They, they will not allow a hold back and then they won't write the loan. So in order to get a loan to them, I have to get the roof replaced. Um, I don't know if the sellers have the money to replace the roof before the sale. I don't know if they want to. They owe $42,000 on the solar alone plus an additional $11,000 take it off and put it back on. It's just insane because they only paid like 50,000 for the whole thing total to begin with. But yeah, so there's a good chance we're not getting this house. We found some water leaks. We found some little things here and there and whatnot, but all that, I think $2,000 would cover that with a small handyman coming in there or doing it myself over like a weekend. I can knock it all out. Um, the one that concerns me the most is the um, one in the, the main bathroom, not the master, the other bathroom leads up the pool. Uh, it's leaking in there, and I think in, if I, it's not in the faucet itself leaking, it's in the actual fittings. I got a feeling the wall's got to come down, but there's an excess wall right by the toilet to it. So technically, I could just cut the whole wall out, obviously not load bearing, and then um, repair, repair the plumbing, and then basically just rebuild the wall there, and probably go with like a faux brick or like a stone or maybe in a glass tile or do something weird and funky as like an accent wall which would really not be that hard to do you could even do those really cool wavy panels you can get like at home depot and menards and whatever and stuff and those that'd be really kind of cool look in that bathroom to kind of tie it in and then go from there the other option if i had more money i'd probably just knock out the whole tub and all and then put a walk-in shower right there and just be completely done with it like that'd be absolutely perfect at that point but i don't know if i'm gonna have any extra cash left over if this even goes through so yeah, so much fun. Um, garbage disposal leaks, um, the back toilet in the master bathroom, uh, the wax, wax gaskets leaking and stuff. So being on a concrete slab, I'm for the floor rotting out, but I just gotta get it up and get a new gasket put in and so on and so forth and all that's always just, it's just crap, it just takes time, it just takes a while. Um, little couple drains running slow, which I'm guessing the P-traps because only a couple drains are running slow, not the whole house, so that's a good thing. The hot water heater, we don't know if it's going bad or if it's just set really low because it's only coming out like 104 degrees, which is not nearly hot enough. Um, so that's kind of, I'm assuming it has to be replaced as well. It's fairly new, so I don't know how it is, but the people who own the house the last five years have done zero maintenance of the house. I haven't done nothing to it. So it's definitely shown its age. Just little things we spotted, like the back of the refrigerator is full of cat hair. So yeah, obviously they haven't been maintaining things and that means that refrigerator's been working its ass off trying to stay cool and that kind of thing. So the roof's gonna be the big one because if my mortgage lender says I cannot get a loan um, without a new roof, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make this happen because I'm not paying twenty thousand dollars, you know, plus maybe twenty, you know, five thousand with the solar taken on and off to put a roof on a house that I don't own yet that I may not get, and then that eats up my cash that I won't have the money for the down payment and so on and so forth. And even if we reduce the price by twenty five grand, I'm still only putting like twenty percent down, so it only saves me like five thousand bucks. You know, I'm still putting out twenty, but only saving five when it comes to the down payment part. So who knows? Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna suck, but we'll see. Um, maybe I can find um, a workaround. I don't know how it's gonna be. So we're gonna try and figure it out. Um, Karen still wants a house at the moment. We'll go from there and see what happens with the whole thing. But right now, it's not looking real good for me. I think we're gonna lose this house. So I got home from that. Um, chat with my agent a little bit about basically making you know a new offer of a renegotiating offer of how much the house is worth and how much we're gonna pay and so on and so forth. And who knows if it'll work. Um, got back to the house. Um, told my mom and my wife to eat earlier because I knew it was going to be late with the inspection. Got my run in, um, basically got done at that, came back in and we ended up having soup. My mom ended up making some biscuits, which normally I would never think about eating biscuits with soup, but I ended up having a biscuit as well and it was all right. It just was more on the because my soup is a full meal, so I shouldn't eat the biscuit, but ended up outside and we chatted a little bit and stuff and just kind of talking about just the stress and the whole crap of everything going on and this house works for us the best we can find at the moment and then also allows her dad to get out of the assisted living and gets him down here and that's I think that's half of why the reason my wife wants this house is so it gets her dad out of the assisted living place and gets him here so who knows we'll see I guess and it just it's all up in the air it just sucks so yeah went ahead um Watched a little bit of TV out here, had myself a little cigar, and crashed and went to bed because I was exhausted. I was just, um, it's just my brain gets wore out with all this going on. So, plus the power wash in the house the last couple of days and all that good stuff too doesn't really help anything either. So, anyway, that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.